Hey guys, it's a beautiful day out. I'm heading over to my shed and do some spray painting. I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial for you to show you how to do a space painting and then jazz it up a little bit with a little Star Wars theme. So, catch you guys in a minute. All right guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some basic spray painting skills for doing planets in space. Then I'm gonna show you how you can make it look even cooler with just a single layer stencil that you can print off the internet in no time. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, what you want to do is you want to figure out where you want to put your planets first. I am going to start with one planet up here in the corner because the picture is going to be kind of flowing this way and you'll see that later when I do the stencil. I like to make my planets with just the cap of my spray paint cans. You can repurpose them this way and to be honest they make a nice clean edge. And as long as you don't load it up with spray paint, it comes out almost perfect. One trick I saw that I've been using for a long time is you start off and you put it down. And what you want to do is do a light dusting around it. That way, you know exactly where your planet's going to be so you don't wind up wasting too much paint. Shake it up first, get a little bit. Hard to see, but there's a light little outline. So, always shake your cans. I always give them a little spritz to help clean out the tip before you shoot it out. What you want to do is put it on kind of nice and light, just almost like brush strokes, but with a spray can. There you go. Now I've got some yellow. And what I'm going to do with this is do the same thing. And then I'm going to blend it together by wiping it with my hand and my fingers. So you want to cover it up. I'm going to take it, I'm going to wipe it. And if you don't get the desired effect, you can always do it again. There we go. Now what you want to do is add a shadow to the planet. This part, I'm not going to lie, freaked me out when I first started painting because I was afraid that I was going to ruin my planet and I'd have to start over. But don't worry, it's not going to happen. And it makes it look pretty awesome. So you want to spray it on one half of it. Don't go too hard into the middle because otherwise it'll ruin the way the planet's going to come out. And if you see, if there's a little bit too much, it starts to kind of unblend and separate. But that's not always a bad thing because it kind of gives it a nice shading effect. So the great thing is now, you don't have to stick to where you originally put it. Take your cap and put it on the part that you think looks the best. We'll go right there. And now we're ready to paint the rest of it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more planet to this actually and use a smaller cap and this will make a smaller planet so I think what we'll do is do one up in the corner maybe we'll make this one blue so grab some blue spray it down in the corner grab some white we're going to put white on top of it
and then we're going to texture it by using the plastic that our canvas comes in. Get to use it more than one way, it's nice. You dust it with some white, hold this down so it doesn't move, and you just put it on there and pull it off and you get kind of a nice crackle effect. Got some white showing through, or uh, some red rather. Let's try it again, bam. Then let's hit it with a little black right around the edge there. Just like that. Put our cap down and we're good to go. All right, now we're gonna move on to the actual galaxy formation. I like to spray the edges of my canvas black. It just gives it a nice finished feel. I didn't do this when I started, but as I started to sell my paintings, I wanted it to look complete all the way around and didn't have any overspray on the edges. It just looked sloppy. All right guys, so the whole thing is dusted black. What you wanna do now is start adding in some color. You also wanna make sure that you get all the way around where you have your planets so that they have nice clean edges. So I'm gonna finish that up right now. Just real light dust around them. If you see any other colors sticking out, now remember, this doesn't have to be perfect because it's space and space is unique. So what we're gonna do is add in some colors. I like adding in blues and greens and purples, uh, but since the color of the main planet is red and yellow, maybe we'll stick with that this time. Let's give that a whirl. So I like to add in almost like a nebula. So you, I just do straight lines right across. And don't worry about the overspray too much because it actually makes it kind of look nice and blend out into the background. Then you want to add in some yellow. I do quick, nice bursts. That way you don't leave it lingering in one spot. The longer you linger, the more paint and the longer it takes to dry. I hit it with red again to lighten it up. And then, because there seems to be a lot of it in space colors, I love to use purple. I got two different shades of purple. Blend the light purple in like that. And then take the dark purple. Blend that in too. Try and transition it nice if you can shadows out of the way then what you want to do is add stars and the easiest way to add stars that I've been able to find is to do it like this I've seen painters take the can and barely press it and hold it over and it'll sprinkle the stars on I'm not a big fan of that it also does it sometimes spread out and I just, I just don't like it very much I also think it wastes the air in your can Whoops, sorry. I spray it on my finger, normally my middle finger. Give it one flick and then flick again. I get most of the excess off. I like to flick it from up high. And then the droplets are a little more random and they're not quite thick and they'll dry a little bit quicker. You want a little more concentrated in one spot, that always works. And there you go. See how our planets came out. Nice. And there you have it guys. Once this is dry, we're going to add a single layer stencil to the top of it to kind of make it stand out a little bit. So I'll be right back. We're going to let this dry out for a second and hit it with the stencil. So now we're going to take this painting or this stencil rather of a stormtrooper helmet, lay it on the painting and 
going to get it painted up. I use pennies, put them right down where all the corners are going to be to help hold it down so you don't get any overspray. Um, and then try as hard as you can. You usually do wind up with a little bit. Let's hit it with some white. I take an old paintbrush and use that to hold down some of the small edges. So I'll start up top and real light. You just want to dust over it real light. If you see any parts of it moving, you want to hold that down. I hold the can far away from it while we're doing it, probably about a foot. Short controlled bursts, guys. Short controlled bursts. And I kind of like, I wasn't planning on this, but I like how it's fading out near the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it like that. Let it start light and fade out. We're going to try one more thing here. Since our colors have been warm colors with reds and yellows and some purples, we're going to try and warm it up on this side with some red. I take a piece of paper, curve it into the shape, and I spray it on the paper and the overspray blows down onto the painting. The only thing you got to worry about with that is for drips. You don't want it to drip down onto your painting. This gives you a little more control and keeps it from getting too clogged up. All right. Let's take it off and let's see what we got, guys. This is just blue painter's tape, by the way. Okay. And there it is. All you got to do is practice it a little bit and you can make something just like it. Remember, light layers, try and get the colors to match and let it dry. Don't rush it. That's the biggest thing that I had to learn was don't go too quickly and you'll be fine. There you have it guys. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. Make sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, come back next time. And until then, if there's anything else you'd like to see, any other tutorials, any other videos, Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, take it easy.